Hey there, folks. Good morning. Time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. If every curveball that gets tossed to you creates a crisis in your life, you might be headed for a burnout. We're going to talk about how to deal with that this morning on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stay tuned. Well, hey there, good morning. Thank you for being here this morning. Trying a little different setup today. Honestly, because I left some of the cabling out in the car. <laughs> ah, but that's okay. We'll get through it today, uh, and it'll be a lot of fun. Hey, look, if you're watching live or watching on the replay, do me a favor. Do what Joe and Keith just did. Drop a comment down there. Say hi. Say good morning. Let me know that you're here. And that also does another thing, gets you set up uh, with Facebook so that they know to let you know when the conversation continues down in the comments. And I kind of feel like we might have a couple of comments today. This is, this might even turn into a soapbox issue for me. So, um, the, the open this morning was about every curveball creating a crisis. All week this week, we've talked about some of the signs that you might be headed for burnout or, over, or, or experiencing, if I can get the words out, experiencing overwhelm. So we're talking about some of those signs and symptoms. By the end of the week, we're going to have uh, some tips and tactics for how you can deal with that. Today, I want to talk to you about, does every little curveball create a crisis? You know, and there's a great quote that we see on signs in offices, but nobody really lives by it, right? Poor planning on your part does not constitute an emergency on my part. That was very prevalent in Army offices. But we don't do that. We let other people and other circumstances create emergencies on our part. And that emergency jacks up the, uh, the stress level. It jacks up your intensity. And just makes for a tough day. I mean, think about it. How many times have you been on your way to work, whether you work at home, in an office, for somebody else, for yourself, and you're planning your day, you're thinking about, okay, I'm going to get this done and this done and this one. It's going to be a great day. And as soon as you walk in the door, this is a problem, this is a problem, this is a problem, and you go into emergency firefighting mode. Right? <clears throat> and, or, or, or even better, you're still having a great day. You walk in, everybody says hi, you sit down at the computer, what do you do? Open email. Oh, man. And there's all these things that you got to handle. Remember, here's a tip for you. Email is just a convenient, a convenient way <laughs> to organize other people's priorities for your time. Email is just a convenient way to organize other people's priorities for your time. Don't let their poor planning create an emergency on your part. So what can you do? Here's, here are three, maybe four things that you can do. Number one, focus on what you can control, right? <clears throat> there are some things that are going to happen that we just can't, we, we, we have to live through the circumstances, but we can't change them. So I'll tell you one of the things for me that, where that plays out is watching the news. I read the news. I don't watch the news because there's no good news to be watched on TV. It's all, it's all drama. But if I can go through there and read it, I can filter it. I can make my own assessments of what's going on. I, I need to know what's going on, but I can't, I, you know, I know people that literally spend all day sitting in front of the TV watching the news. Why? There's nothing you can control there. That's, that's information about what other people are doing. Focus on what you can control. That's number one. Number two, prioritize you. You. Make it a priority to do for you first. Now, that might seem selfish, but here's the thing. If you don't just take your health, for example, if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't take care of your own health, how can you help other people? Right? You have to prioritize you first. Now, you might be saying, <clears throat> Tom, all that sounds great, but I don't have time for that. Well, that's number three. 
get your butt out of bed earlier. Right now, obviously, you're watching this at seven o'clock in the morning. You're up pretty early already. But here's the thing: people are not going to call you at five o'clock in the morning. They might call you at five, six, seven o'clock at night, but they're not going to call you at five o'clock in the morning. If you get up earlier, then you create that time where you can prioritize your own things. Right? Do something for you first before you start doing for other people. Makes a big difference. And look, here's a simple, I've told you this before, simple little thing to do. When you get up, make the bed. Now you started your day with two wins. You got up when, when you wanted to get up and you made the bed. It's a winning day already. All right. So it, but here's the other thing. And, and this is probably even better. You know, for years I got up early as I had to as in the army. The, our day started early. When I got done with that, I was like, you know what? Yeah. Well, when I got, when I got out of that, I was like, you know what? I've gotten up early plenty. I'm, I'm going to sleep till I've got to leave. What that did for me and what it will do for you is begin your day in crisis every day. Think about this. If you need to be out of the house by 7.30, which Eric says is not early. Okay, fine. If you need to be out of the house at 7.30 and you set your alarm for 7 o'clock, what happens if you sleep in? Holy crap, I'm late. Right? The day begins in crisis. What happens if you get up and the car won't start? What happens if whatever, right? You've begun your day in crisis. How do you think the rest of the day is going to go? Right? Everything's just going to be one more thing. Right, Eric? Isn't that how it works out? <laughs> Just one more thing. I just need to go back to bed, right? But if you get up, have a chance to have a nice cup of coffee, sit down, read for a minute, work your mind, do your journaling, start your day. Now you're ready to go out and handle other people's priorities. And here's the bonus tip. I've told you it might be three or four. Here's the bonus tip. Plan for interruptions, especially if you're the boss, right? They're going to bring things to you. You have to plan for that. So don't, if you have, if you have an eight hour work day, don't plan eight hours of, of work. Plan whatever. I mean, it's going to have to adjust based on, on, uh, on your need, but plan for six hours and then put two hours in your day to handle other people's stuff. If you do that and nobody brings you anything, you finish two hours early. See how easy that is? All right, so here's a question uh, for you this morning. What can you do today, this morning, before lunchtime, preferably I mean, if you hadn't left the house yet, what can you do before you leave the house to prioritize you, to make movement toward your goal, to create a single outcome today, this morning, that's going to move you toward your goal? It can be as small as you want it to be. Maybe it's sending one email to a potential client, right? Maybe it's sitting down and taking five minutes. It literally doesn't have to take any longer than that. Five minutes to plan your day, right? Just, I've shown you how I do it in my book every day. What's your one priority, your four focus items? Put in the big rocks and then fill in the sand around it. Simple, right? It's simple. It's so simple that we think, ah, I don't need to do it. I can do it in my head. What happens when you do it in your head? It all falls apart. What's one thing you can do today? Commit to it. Put it down in the comments. Put it out there in the universe. It'll happen for you. All right, Eric says 7 o'clock's not early. Yeah, 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 I know. 5 o'clock for me. Uh, yeah, Brooke says, oh, that's a good point, Brooke. It's like the mask on the airplane, right? You got to put yours on first before you can help anybody else. Get your stuff done. And look, it's, that's, it is being selfish, but it's being selfish so that you can be giving. Uh, that, that might sound funny, but that's the way that it works out. All right, that's it for today. Look, uh, remember it, down in the comments, one thing you're going to do today that's going to move the ball forward for you. I want you to commit to it. Put it in the comments so I can ask you about it tomorrow. Right? Make that commitment. All right? Remember, we cannot control what pitch we get thrown in life. 
right? Pitchers are going to throw us whatever pitch they want to. All we can do is control how we respond to it, swing or not, right? And if we have, if we've taken a few minutes to think about this, this and it really, it only takes a few minutes. Take a few minutes to think about it, come up with a plan, write that plan down, you're going to have a much better outcome. That's it for today. Hey, remember, it is Wednesday, so that's coffee shop show day. I may or may not be on the coffee shop show. If I can do it remotely, maybe I can. I don't know. We'll find out. But Eric will definitely be on the coffee shop show. Right, Eric? You can still join it by uh, join the show. See what uh, who shows up <laughs> by going to thecoffeeshopshow.com. That gets you to the right place. You can watch the show there and be part of that. I will be back here again in the morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.